it's Camille from Camille I Am. 2018 is here, which is so crazy. I feel like 2017 went by so fast, and I just wanted to make this quick little video to talk about my favorite things of 2017 and also what is in store for 2018. But before I start this video, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below letting me know what your New Year's resolutions are, and let's get on to the video. First off, I wanted to talk about 2017 and kind of do a little recap on that and talk about my three favorite moments that happened in 2017. The first thing is that my husband graduated college with his bachelor's degree. This is really exciting for us because he was in a really time consuming major and sometimes he wouldn't come home from school until like midnight. And so now I really feel like we have a lot of time to really make our goals come true and really shape our life into what we want it to be. And the second thing that we did that was super fun in 2018 was we went to the Oregon coast. We didn't really do a lot of traveling last year, but we were planning to change that in 2018, and I will talk about that later in the video. But I really did love going to the Oregon coast this year, and I spent a lot of time there when I was little, so it was really fun to show my husband my favorite spots in Oregon. And my third favorite thing was that I was able to go on TV for the first time. This was super exciting for me. Our state has a local morning show and I was able to show a couple of my favorite recipes from my blog on that morning show and that really helped me get out of my comfort zone and um, I really enjoyed that so I'll hopefully be able to go on there a couple more times this year. And those were my three favorite moments that happened in 2017. Of course there were a ton of other great moments but I kind of just wanted to highlight three. I'm kind of just making this video as a memory and also to see what goals I had at the beginning of the year and see if I was able to achieve them by the end of the year. So now I'm going to be talking about 2018 and the goals that I have for this year. I wrote down a little list of the goals slash resolutions that I have for this year, so I'll read them off to you. My first goal is that I want to start documenting my memories more, and one way that I'm doing this is with the One Second Every Day app. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but you just take a one second video every day, and then at the end of the year, um, you compile it together into a whole video, so it will be 365 um, little clips of each day of the year, which I think is so cute, and I'm really excited to see how that turns out. I also want to start posting on social media more. I really think that I posted like less than 10 photos on Instagram last year which is like terrible and that's one of my really big downfalls is that I'm not um, consistent on social media. So the second thing, I know that was a lot of things in one thing but it was mostly just documenting my memories more. Um, and the second thing is I want to take better care of myself. A lot of times I will just go to bed with my makeup on, which is really bad for your skin. I've never really had a problem with acne, so I've never really been forced to take care of my skin. But this year I really want to focus on that and so that I don't regret not doing that later. And also I want to start eating more healthy. Um, last year we did start eating pretty healthy, but I want to just be more consistent, especially with some of our trips coming up. I want to lose some weight so that we can look good in all of our travel pictures. And the third thing is that I wanna be more social. I think since getting married and being so busy um, because we were both working full time and going to school full time, we just kind of would come home and eat dinner and then like go to bed or something like that. And so a lot of our like relationships with our friends have suffered because we haven't like really been hanging out with them. So I wanna do that more and kind of just develop those friendships more because I think that is really important. And my fourth and final goal that I want to share with you is that I want to be more consistent on YouTube. Um, I have my little spurts where I'll be really consistent and I'll post a ton of videos, but then it will go like two months before I post another one or something like that and I'll get lazy and not post. I've really been loving YouTube and making videos and memories that I can look back on, so I really want to stick to the at least one video a week rule. And yeah, we'll see how that goes in 2018. Something that is for sure going to happen in 2018 is that we are going to travel more. So we already have two big trips planned and the first one is that in March we are going to Japan which is really exciting. We actually have a friend that is living there that we are going to stay with for a little bit and then also travel to some other cities um, around Japan. So I'm really excited about that. And then for Christmas I had no idea about this but Kaden totally surprised me with another trip that I was not expecting and um, he did do a little video of my reaction action which I'm going to show here. It's kind of embarrassing because it was on Christmas morning and I'm just in my pajamas and it's kind of at an awkward angle but I will insert that here. What is it? <laughs> you already know what it is. I don't know what it is. Open it. I bet it's the tickets to Japan. Don't rip I don't it. know about that. You did not do this. I was kidding. What, what? are those? What are they? <laughs> what? 
No, we're going to Bali too. <laughs> <laughs> we're going where? Babe, you're I was kidding. <laughs> you're going where? <laughs> it was super cute because we had opened all the presents under the tree and then he was like, wait, I think you haven't opened one of your presents. And so he looked around all the tree and he's like, I can't find it under here. So he's like, maybe I didn't put it under the tree. So then he went back into the back room and he brought out a little envelope and he surprised me with these tickets. These are fake tickets that he just made on Photoshop or something, but I am so excited. We are going to Bali in April and I have always wanted to go to Bali. Kaden actually found a message from me from about four, four or five years ago. It was in 2013 where it said, I really want to go to Bali and I've always wanted to go there. We were actually going to go to Bali on our honeymoon, but when we looked at the flights at that time, they were really expensive um, for the time that we were wanting. So we decided to go to the Bahamas instead and then kind of wait until we found a really good deal to go to Bali. I was actually looking online and I saw a really good deal to Bali and I was kind of just totally kidding with him and I was like, oh, we should buy these because it's a really good deal and stuff. But I knew that we were already going to Japan in March and then this one was in April. So I was like, oh, that's probably not gonna happen. But then he surprised me with them on Christmas and I was so shocked. So yeah, those are the two big trips that we have planned so far in 2018. And we also got a couple new pieces of camera equipment for Christmas. So I'm planning to make some travel diaries or travel guides while we're in Bali and Japan. Another thing that is probably going to happen in 2018 is that we are going to move. We have lived in this place for a little under two years, but once we hit two years, um, we're probably not going to renew our lease and we're going to move somewhere else and possibly buy a house. I'm not sure yet. And it also depends on where Kaden gets a job and stuff like that so I'm really excited for what that has in store for us and the last thing that I want to talk about that I really want to happen in 2018 is that I really want to start growing my wedding planning business I don't know if any of you guys know this but I am in school for event planning and I really want to be a wedding planner someday and I have done a couple of weddings in the past but I haven't really made it into an official business yet and I really want to work on that this year and kind of get like a strong brand down and um, just make it an official business. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to make this little video to kind of recap 2017 and then talk about what is in store for 2018. I'm really excited for what is to come and I can't wait to see what happens. I also have another video that I'm working on that will be out around the same time as this one that is a food video. So hopefully you are excited for that. And make sure to comment down below letting me know what your New Year's resolutions are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!